This is Dug Dug, where we solve problems that no one has. Most adventurers walk through the lands of Skyrim without a care in the world, but the truth is, the people of Skyrim are suffering. In Whiterun alone, there are dozens of citizens, yet most of them go hungry or have hardly any food to get them through tough times. But to truly understand these people's hunger, you have to see it. So today, I'm gonna show you. I will show you every single piece of food in the city of Whiterun so that you can see with your very own eyes exactly how little these people have to eat. Okay, so there are three main sources of food in Whiterun. You have the farms growing food outside of the city, the shopkeepers selling food inside of the city, and then all the food that people have stored inside of their houses. So to show you all the food in Whiterun, we'll first go to every shopkeeper and buy their entire inventory. Now that we've bought every store's food, next we'll sweep through the farmlands and pick up every single vegetable. Unfortunately, you can't collect food from cows and chickens if they're alive, so we'll have to kill the livestock to collect their meat. So that's all the farm and shop food from these poor people. So now we'll systematically sweep through every house and pick up everyone's personal foods. We'll start outside and hit those farmhouses and meaderies, and then we'll walk up through each level of Whiterun up until we hit the Great Hall. A lot of these poor folks have to store food in their bedrooms or in sacks around the kitchen. This guy thought he could hide salmon from me on the ceiling, you sneaky little butthole. Now wine and mead do count as food, so you'll have to collect everything from the meaderies as well. Now with all the farmhouses cleared out, we'll work our way through the city itself, starting with the lower level and zigzagging through every building until we hit the Great Hall. All right. Ooh, this kid has a sweet roll. And the final house to hit in Whiterun is the Companion's Hall, a massive building full of rich history and delicious food. And lastly, the Great Hall, the crown jewel of Whiterun. And with the Great Hall entirely cleaned, we now have in our possession every single scrap of food in Whiterun. So let's see exactly how much it is. So this is all the food in Whiterun. Dozens of farmers, shopkeepers, peasants, and soldiers, years of labor, and it barely amounts to anything. Sure, this could last them a few days, maybe even a week, but if disaster happened, a famine or war, there's simply not enough for these poor people to last.
No, 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 no. 